Mechanical keyboards, that's pretty much what I grew up with. At school we had IBM PS2 computers and at home we had a 286 desktop and both of them had mechanical keyboards. Recently someone on Facebook asked me if I had a mechanical keyboard that I used with my retro projects and I didn't. I used basic keyboards from Microsoft and Logitech and haven't really thought about using a modern mechanical keyboard for retro gaming. On the previous pickups video I briefly mentioned that we are going to check out a modern mechanical keyboard and what I really want to know is if such a keyboard does make for a better retro gaming experience and brings back some of those long forgotten memories. Firstly I knew nothing about mechanical keyboards and a lot has changed. So I did some quick online research and discovered that there are a lot of different types of switches and they all are identified by colors such as blue, red or green. After a bit of reading I knew that blue switches sounded just like what I was after. They are loud and clicky and should feel similar to what I was using back in the day. The keyboard we are using today was provided to our channel by Banggood. It is the Motorspeed Inflictor CK104. I wasn't sure which keyboard to go for so I went with the most popular one. This is the best selling keyboard by far and I checked out a few reviews and it seemed very well received. Now this keyboard does of course have RGB lighting. You can turn it off if that's not your thing but later in the video I will show you all the animations and how to activate them. The price is $52.99 in US dollars including free shipping but we do have a discount coupon that brings it down to $47.69. Details are down below in the description. Here we have some details of the switches and the keyboard. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, Otemo Blue switches is what we have. They've got an actuation force of 50 grams. They are tactile and clicky. The key travel is 2 millimeters to actuation and 4 millimeters to the bottom. The keycaps use double shot injection molding. The keyboard supports NKRO. We have backlit RGB and multimedia keys. The USB cable is 1.5 meters long and the keyboard has a nice weight to it weighing 1.1 kilograms. So you can see me playing a few retro games with this keyboard. And so what do I think? Well, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but this keyboard certainly feels very similar to what I had back in the day and it certainly provides a better retro gaming experience. I like the sound and the clickiness and it feels very solid and sturdy. The price is also good at $47.69 including free shipping. I think this keyboard is excellent value. So next up we're gonna check up the RGB lighting and how to activate all the animations. Okay guys, so let's have a look at all the different light options. The first thing, if you press function and escape, you can reset your keyboard. Also, if you want to turn off the lights, function and print screen will disable the lights and function print screen again will bring the lights back up. So we have some funny translation going on. Bum steady mode is the first uh, mode. You can cycle the colors by pressing FN and then pressing the delete key. So you can cycle through various colors and back to red. The next one is called colorful breath and you need to press function and insert and it will switch over to the next uh, animation. You can once again change the colors by pressing F uh, function and delete. You can cycle through the colors, but you can also change the speed now uh, by pressing function and left and right. You can change the speed of the brief cycle in five steps and you can also control the brightness pretty much for every uh, animation by holding down FN and then the down or the up arrows you can uh, change the brightness in five steps. Off to the next mode it's called gaming superior and we have a couple of shortcuts here if we so in this mode we have five different options for presets for games. The first one is for FPS, second one is for Crossfire, the third one is for COD, number four is for League of Legends and number five is for uh, racing, for car racing games. In the game superior mode we can even configure our own uh, layout. We're holding down FN and Home. We have a uh, flashing indicator now and what we can do now is we can light up our own keys that we want to use uh, in our own colors and you just press them repeated times so if I want to have my arrow keys my control space and also alt 
Um, there we go. And then I'll just press uh, function home again. And these are now programmed. The next one is called rainbow. And once again, with FN left, right, up, down, we can change the speed or the brightness. So we can speed it up a little bit. And we can also make it a bit darker if we want. The next one is called pass without trace. So let's have a look what this does. Okay, so you press a few keys and it just, it lights them up basically. That's also pretty neat. Very nice. The next one is called mix light ripples. And once again, we can cycle through the colors and we can, okay, there's a interesting one here with different colors and we can also speed up the animation, I believe. And we can also yeah, slow it down a bit, make it darker, just like with the other options. The next one is called Rainbow Horse Race. And yeah, very interesting. So let's speed it up. We can make it go a little bit faster. And just like before, we can uh, dim the brightness a little bit. There are five steps for the brightness and there are five steps for the speed. Okay, the next one is called Colorful Dazzle. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so that's the, the ripple one where you press a button and it ripples the colors out. So that's very cool. Okay, the next one is called Airy Craft. So what that one does is it just lights all the keys around the key you pressed up. Also, very nice animation. And the next one is called Colorful Time. And we have a really nice rainbow pattern. With this one, there's one special option you can do. FN Delete will change the direction. And this animation can slow down to the point where it stops. And you can make it move really slow or a little bit faster. And I believe this is the last animation. So if we press it again, we should good, uh, go back to the start. So there you have it guys, a cheap mechanical keyboard with those retro style blue switches and a modern touch with the RGB lighting. Personally, I just leave it to the uh, blue color without any animations. That works pretty well for me. So what do you think about this keyboard and what do you use with your retro gaming PC? Share your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to our channel, like or dislike and I shall see you soon with another one.